Since Landrix didn't just- <laughs> Since Landrix didn't just drop one nuke on us, he went ahead and dropped two! You don't know what I'm talking about. Talanthic made a video about episode 76 leaks, as well as the summer event leaks. And as you can see, I haven't watched them. So we're gonna do that together, and I'm gonna give you my honest and opinions and thoughts on it, so you guys know what a YouTuber thinks of soon-to-come updates. Because let's be honest, the recent updates have been good. The problem is, they take three years to come out! Let's watch the video. There are gonna be two new units and two new toilets, and we're also gonna add some other really cool things in this update that I- And they are completely synonymous and parallel to that of the Skibbity episodes. I have really nothing to complain about. They're just adding in what the actual Skibbity series has, and that's what the game's made on. So it's totally fine in my opinion. First guy, so comes in and his head shield thing is down. Well, it's, it's off right now, but then it like goes down, which is pretty cool. So you can use it kind of like a shield to block things, and he has two lasers. We decided to call this the Astro Soldier Toilet, so he we're getting the Astro Soldier Toilet to the game, which you know makes sense because that seems to be the ah! oh my god, what was in my throat? Which is what seems to be the direction that the Scooby series is going in, anyways. Because for example, if I go over here. And I want to look up some Astros. There's several different Astro toilets now. What is the angelic toilet? What? What? When did you? When did you? Huh? But this is more so what I'm talking about. Secular Astro toilet. Juggernaut Astro toilet. Astro toilet. Basically, just a bunch of good Astro toilets are going to get added to the game because they get more stronger and it makes more sense. Let's see what else got added. Bro, look sick, dude. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait, I don't know what I think about that. Talantrix just told us that this toilet is going to be able to block attacks from the upgraded Titan Drill Man? Excuse me? You're telling me how the mothership is immune to literally everything but not the upgraded Titan Drill Man. But for some reason, this unit is going to be immune to the Titan Drill Man? <laughs> the Titan Drill Man's going to be useless. This unit is going to have a very long stun. Talantrix just let us know. That's not really a big deal. It might just make medic slash healing units more meta once again. Bar on the units so you can actually see how many stuns they have left. So kind of Yo, that's actually a W. Inside the game, they plan to add a health bar above your units that shows them how many stuns they basically have left to get stunned. Because a lot of different toilets in this game, not toilets, sorry, units, are able to take stuns. But a lot of the times, we don't actually know how many they're allowed to take or how long they're going to be stunned for. So they're thinking about adding the health bar above their head to let you know how many stuns a unit is allowed to take. I think that's a really W strategy, and also it just helps everyone, and it just flows the game better and makes you understand the units and exactly how they work in your team better to help work with team chemistry. Holy smokes! Bro, this guy looks like the guy from Transit from Black Ops 2. Bro, this dude! I'm talking about this dude! Ah? Uh, ah? Uh? I don't really see it. Both sides and a laser in the middle. So this guy, I actually am going to do something a lot of people will probably like. Because yes! I've had a lot of people asking me for, like, the buff engineer. And yes! the with this guy is to actually make him the new max level for engineer. So this up. Yeah! Iron Man actually got. Woohoo! He's talking about me. I'm one of those people. Bimmy made a video about it too, where he's like, Talantrix literally can't stop up, uh, can't stop buffing the engineer. Because the engineer should be good. But this is going to be the new final form of the engineer. What's it going to have? I need to find out. Show me, show me, show me, show me. Buffed a bit. So at level 7, he had 150k health and did a little more damage. 100, so 150k health, 500 DPS. And at level 6, the previous max level, he went up to 75k health. So, I mean, that was not too bad of a buff. But this is probably going to be the final buff for a while. And I'm thinking of making the max level cost a little bit more. Definitely because this guy is going to be pretty strong. But he's also also gonna be a bit bigger than the tank so this is gonna be the third engineer buff i mean the first one was barely a buff he only had like 20 percent more health or something this last update he had more than double maxed out so this is gonna be the final buff for that because a lot of people are on me to buff engineer there are only 20,000, so it is pretty rare then you can all if that's his argument to make the engineer stronger then why isn't the spider tv more rare like the spider tv yes it got a massive buff but they're actually treating the engineer valuably, but they're not with the spider TV at all. So shouldn't they buff the spider TV too? Also, with that being said, he said they're going to make the engineer have a max of 150,000 tank. Let's check that out. Pardon me, I should have thrown on my scientist coat for this. We are doing a science experiment. So I'm going to do a handful of things right now. I'm going to check out what the engineer is doing right now, what its max tank is. 
And then I'm going to compare it to the Chief Clockman. And then I'm also going to compare it to the Scientist Clockman to see if this buff even makes sense. Okay, so no, the the tank does a current of 150,000. So is the new one going to do 200,000, 215,000? I don't remember exactly what he said. Did he say a number? Either way, let's just say it's 300,000. Let's see how much better that is, if better at all, than the Chief Clockman. Because don't forget, the Chief Clockman can literally give range boost more than the Leprechaun. He also is a summoner unit. And on top of that, he's actually a pretty strong DPS unit of 30,000. And he does Sigma damage where he attacks, not Sigma, Mu damage where he attacks everything in his range. So the Clock Spiders do only come out at 50,000. So the tanks do have way more and they're about to have a ton more again. So on the base route of just ally HP, yes, the engineer does blow the chief out of the water. However, at the end of the day, chief might be better with his range booth, with his DPS, also his ability to basically have an emergency on any mode, anytime, anywhere. And just for kicks and giggles, I wanted to see how the ultimate time berry does, and there's still no comparison. This is still hands down the best guaranteed wall unit. If you really want to get into the nitty gritty, the Titan Cloverman could be considered better. All right, moving on. We are also going to get the Astro Gun Large Cameraman. Let's see what Talentrix has to say about this. Large Cameraman, and he's just going to have this really powerful gun that shoots yellowish orange Astro Toilet Balls that are going to do a lot of damage. And it also is going to be splash damage. So most likely he's just going to be a mythic because oh. we already have a bit of a large cameraman in the game. So like the large laser cameraman, he had a pretty cool laser. And this also is pretty much just a step up from, well, we already have a large cameraman, but this is a bit better because, I mean, he literally has the astro gun i don't think an astro gun on a cameraman and being a legendary would be strong enough but anyways the next thing i'm keeping a bucky one thaui it makes sense that the astro is gonna do splash at first i didn't really agree with it but then i thought about it more and i thought about the astro cameraman the thing is with this astro large gun man is he also going to be doing slowing down if he picked up the astro gun these are questions i need to know the answers to and I guess we'll know as soon as the update comes out. Ooh, I'm getting excited. So the upgraded large laser cameraman is going to get a shield. Is it going to work the same way as a shield cameraman though? Cool shield thing. So that's going to actually block all stuns. So this is going to be one of the few units in the game that can't get stunned. So whenever he gets hit, that shield particle thing is just going to deploy. And he's going to block it. So he... Okay, so he's not going to be able to deflect like the shield cameraman and actually do damage back he's simply just gonna be able to block becoming one of the only units in the game that does complete stun protection which are all very valuable units they're also adding the large astro spider toilet nothing crazy to be added here that's pretty much the rest of the video and i know i said last week's video we're gonna add the new ranks i guess the new ranks was actually gonna be this update evan was planning to do that so yeah this update for sure we're gonna have a ranks 11 through 15 on endless mode so if you're already ranked 10 then you're gonna be able to get up more ranks and that will be good so also there's gonna be more endless ranks but we don't know exactly what they do and at this point in time, endless rank, it, mm, honestly, the only reason why I think endless ranks are cool is if you're in the Toilet Tower Defense Discord, it shows what level you are in the Discord, and that's pretty cool. But besides for that, you don't really get that much super valuable stuff from ranks. As soon as you get your sixth slot and you get either the extra money or emergency rank, you're pretty much set. So, And the passive slots are really good. Don't get me wrong. Okay, no, they're pretty good. I'm curious to see what the next ones will do. And hallelujah, double speed was mentioned. Not only was double speed mentioned, triple speed was mentioned. They're thinking about maybe adding to the rank system once they add the double speed system in to add a triple speed in. And that would be game changing. So if you're not already high rank and this is something they end up doing, I would highly, highly recommend getting up to the rank 10. So like Talentric said, you have a much easier chance and ability to get through the 15 ranks. So we watch all episode 76 part one. Let's go ahead and check out the summer event leaks. Stay with me here. Four units, one toilet that is going to be the boss. And also in this update, another thing, the engineer is going to be remade. And there's another toilet in that what? show. And that toilet was actually on the cameraman's side. It looks kind of like a tank. So for that <laughs> reason, we are <laughs> actually... 
I, I just laughed at a Talantrix video. I <laughs> actually going to make him a part of the engineer cameraman. So the engineer cameraman is going to have another level. And I'll actually show you guys the toilet real quick. Uh, you guys might get scared though. My modeler made his face kind of scary. Um, show I'm, me. I'm not too. I'm ready. Show me. Sure why? But I like it, so I'm gonna keep it like that. <laughs> So, yeah, this guy is gonna be the new max level engineer cameraman thing. Last update, we added a new max level. To Just show me already, dude. You're trolling me. Like, again. That's not too bad. He was acting like it was gonna be super, super scary. Nah, bro, that's pretty tame. I ain't scared of that. In case my editor didn't put it up on the screen yet, he is a very, very interesting toilet. But anyways, the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is the sunglasses speaker man. This is one of our sun- Nice! Okay, we got a summer unit. Let's see what it does. Summer unit is a speaker man with sunglasses. I mean, he kind of just does what normal speaker men do. Makes sense. It seems like with every single- type of event update they add some form of a speaker man that's what they do turkey speaker man lucky speaker man reindeer speaker man scary speaker man monster speaker man well that was it was spooky camera you guys get what i'm saying every big event they have a speaker man that they add it makes sense it's a tradition at this point it's a ritual new crate mentioned new crate mentioned AKA the summer event crate. So it's like a old wooden treasure chest that you like find buried on the beach and it has a beach ball on the front of it. So this is gonna be the new summer event crate. It is not gonna be its own crate actually. You're not gonna get it as a crate in your inventory. You wanna guess what you're gonna do with it and piece together info I said in my last week. Okay, got it. So I'm glad we watched these together. So basically, I, I give myself credit for this. The reason what they're doing is they're making a new map and you're going to get a crate for being the map. So the hopeless army is going to reign supreme once again. But I'm assuming that's how it's going to work. That's what they did with claw crates where there's only a percent chance. But I'm assuming this is going to be the only way you can get it. It's not going to have its own currency system like the clocks. So that'll be really, really interesting to see. I'm kind of excited. They're also adding the surfing man that's going to like do waves onto the units. I'm assuming that was like his thumbnail for the video. This unit, the surfing TV man. Yeah, he's just going to surf on to units. Pretty cool. The fourth one is the coolest of all. So here's the fourth one. It's a purple one. It has a lot of cool parts. Okay, so this is one of the surf boys surfboards. He's going to be a fan surf man. A fan surf man? That's actually sick. They're going to start adding the pushback feature to more units. Honestly, as of right now, with like the Titan fan man in the game and just other fans in the game in general, I actually have really been enjoying the pushback feature. I think it's a really good way for a lot of people to access high rounds that normally wouldn't be able to do them. It's like a new form of slowing. Cool. Why not add it to a event unit? Hopefully, it's the one that's easy to access so more people get access to it. So, we might be getting that video on Sunday. Sounds good to me. And they also talked about potentially removing the event update, the clock event update, this update, and or next update. So, we'll have to wait and see about that. So, what am I looking forward to the most? I'm definitely looking forward to the summer event update more than the episode 76 update. I'm someone that enjoys fanon units. I think it gives the developers, Flantrix, and Evan and his team... The ability to be more creative and add some cool new features to the game. For example, the surfer having that Titan pushback feature. I think that's super, super cool. And we have a lot to look forward to. And to be honest, it seems like Talantrix has actually outsourced more of his work to other people, which is what you should do. Obviously, that's just my opinion. So I'm happy and I'm proud of him for that. W development keeping me happy as a content creator, making the overall game and experience better for all players to keep more people playing it. So you get the thumbs up of approval from Hopeless. And if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys press that subscribe button. We are trying to get to 100k by the time this channel turns one year old in September. Either way, without further ado, I will see you guys all again tomorrow. Bye!